Hello everyone, Deus Legend here for Xbox Live Network, here with a early preview stream of Colot. Hello everyone, Day. And um, this is a ID at Xbox release, set for release on June 9th. For the price of $19.99, this game was developed and published by IMGN.pro. I'm going to imagine that it's pronounced imagine.pro as the developer name. That's what we're going to go with for this one. So um, we're going to be checking out the game briefly here, about uh, 20, 30 minutes or so, and see what the game is all about and see if we like it or not or if you guys have any questions. Uh, we can answer them live here on stream. If you miss any of the action, as usual, we will upload the footage to our YouTube channel on demand so you guys can check out. And be sure to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to our channel and share. And if you're watching here live on Twitch, we would appreciate if you guys follow the channel to check us out as we do stream a lot of new and unreleased Xbox One games. So, without further ado, let's get started with Colot. Okay, so I have not played any other game here, so it'll be as much as a surprise to me as it will be to you. So, um, first off, let's see if there's any options we need to change. Everything looks good. Uh, let's see if we can see the controls here. So we got compass, zoom, map, crouch, use, flashlight, run. I think the most important thing will be run, probably. Okay. I appreciate all the follows there. Um, Helios TV, Mr. Prupolo, and still in Ocup. Appreciate those follows. Now, let's get started with the game here. Colot. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. But this game is supposed to be a survival horror type game. At least that's what I've been told or read up on it briefly before the stream. So, we'll see what it's all about. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. Oh no, we're in Russia. A group of nine oh students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. Okay, we are pronouncing it right. Kolat. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. Well, screen tearing or something going on, I don't know. On February 25th, Maybe it's supposed 1959, to be like that. I don't know. an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. 
The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Okay. Nice opening story for the game. Tip at the bottom. Don't run all the time. Let your character rest. Oh boy. So let's see what we're getting ourselves into in Act 1. Just run or something, or go into the woods. Maybe not. I don't know. to a building. We can get on the train and get out of here. Help! Time will tell. Can we yell and say help? <laughs> Just walk down this road here. Maybe we'll die or something, or you know, freeze to death. Maybe that's what the game wants. They want us to die.
Making sure we don't miss anything. Hey, Dopey, welcome to the stream in in Cadave. <laughs> a walking sim. Um, that's what it looks like right now. It's sort of reminded me of um, A Town of Light, another game that just came out the other day. Um, I don't know. Maybe some maybe something will happen soon. I don't know. Just keep running through the woods here. You know, in the freezing cold. You know, nothing never nothing never hurts doing it, you know. Uh, one second. Civilization might be this way. I don't know. Might not be any civilization at all in this game. Let's take a look at the controls one, one more time here. Map. I just want to press Y before. Nope. No map. Map will be great right now. have any questions or anything about the game or something here let me know <laughs> uh, welcome everybody to the channel here on the Xbox Live Network we do stream a lot of new and unreleased games this is a unreleased game we're streaming right now called Colot it's Scheduled to come out on the Xbox Store on June the 9th. Price is $19.99. And am, am I back to where we started? How could this happen? <laughs> there, there has to be something. The game can't be trolling us, can it? I'm trying all the buttons and stuff. You know, you know when in doubt, you you just press buttons. <laughs> Maybe something will happen.
And, and when you run, you run out of breath. Also guys, be sure to enter our giveaway as well. We're giving away Tekken 7 and also Star Balls. You can enter to win at uh, giveaways.teamxbln.com. So enter to win that giveaway. It ends on Friday at midnight. So be sure to get your entries in. Go to giveaways.teamxbln.com to enter to win free games as we give away free games every single week here on the channel. Check it out and good luck. Now let's see how far we can. Well, I can't run that far up this hill. pipeline or something right there. blocks our path. Hmm. Oh. They coming to It's like we're on to something. Black and white, or was everything already black and white? Who knows? In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash, an insufferable burning light, uh. pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. Um, after a while, yeah, I have no idea where we are now. Nothing. The light went out. And I Walk into the light. Don't lose your eyes in the process. Hmm. 
this is a nice white screen. You know, if you ever have a remember those old plasma screens when you have to do the white screen or whatever to clear images off or something. This would be a great image for that. <laughs> it's pure white, and this is actually hurting my eyes. Hey, T folks, welcome to the stream. How's it going today? Hopefully, I'm walking in the right direction. I don't know. Um. Um. I don't know. I'm just holding the the button to walk here, and hopefully, we go somewhere useful. <laughs> Let's look at the ground. There we go. Alright, look at the ground. You can sort of see where we're going when we look at the ground. Just came back from cancer or school. Okay. Ah, a tent. Okay. Okay, do we go to bed now? So it looks like we have a compass and a map here. Okay. <laughs> School is cancer. I wouldn't say that. It has its uses. This flashlight can save your life. Be careful where you point it. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the people there. Well, people, are, they're another thing. Act two. All right, act two. A nice screenshot. Okay, um, now this little weaselly tent protected us all night, freezing cold. Survival information. Running in snow is tiring. Yeah, yeah, we know. Flashlight, compass, mapper. Okay. Um, this thing tell us where we're supposed to be going or something or. Stick to this path, or you know, okay. Let's 
use this. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so Here we got our first achievement of the game, 35 point circle of life. Of You've collected a note in the circle area. I arrived area. at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. Hmm. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. Okay. Um, we're not going to sit through that, but we will sit through this. Oh, we we died? Question mark. Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to um figure out what happened and could have happened or didn't happen. Should have happened. So we'll check out this game a few more minutes here on our preview stream. We'll we'll be streaming it more on Friday on its release. So we, we don't want to show you guys so much in the preview, you know. Um, and, and for myself, I need to figure out what's going on in the game. Um, let's just run. Oh, I see. Maybe that. Okay. Aha! We figured out what happened. Alright. I knew things will start making sense eventually, but maybe not. Probably check out five to ten more minutes of this here in the preview. Just let you guys know. We encourage you guys to give us a follow here if you're viewing. We would appreciate it if you guys check us out from time to time as we do stream a lot of new and unreleased Xbox games here on Xbox Live Network. We are a community Xbox channel. And there are different streamers here, so if you don't like me, there's other people you can not like as well. <laughs> stream on the channel as well. And uh, you know, we'll show you games, we'll answer questions, we'll do everything you guys want. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. So be sure to follow us, check us out. And also, as our appreciation to the community, we do a lot of giveaways. This week we're giving away Tekken 7 and Star Balls. You can enter to win that giveaway at giveaways.teamxbln.com. Good luck, go to the link, check it out, it's in the chat room. And uh, enter to win some free games, courtesy of Xbox Live Network and the developers and publishers of the games. To supply the games for you guys. So we appreciate everyone for watching here.
Um, how about we look at the map? How about that? Um, apparently right now we're just running through the woods, it seems. Let's just keep on running. See where we end up. close to something, I don't know what it is. Oh, what is this? We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna sit through all of it. Um, you guys get the gist of it. You pick up diary pieces and. We learn bits of the story. And mostly backstory it seems. I don't know. Ooh. Sure that'll kill us if we fall in it. Okay, let's just run through these nice dark woods. Nothing can nothing will happen, will it? Nothing will happen. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. You know, just random falling pieces of, of ice below your feet, you know. Nothing's happening. Okay. supposed to somehow I don't know get up into this building or something let's try to walk on the other side of this thing I always get scared in games you can't jump in You're getting stuck somewhere that you can't get out of It's like being trapped between trees. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing's happening. We're okay. How do we get up there? Serious light. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Map. Map doesn't really. Is this us or what? I, don't, I can't really tell. It don't seem like that thing is moved. Just run. When in doubt, run. Run for your life.
That's pretty cool. The trees are swaying in the wind. Two north, sixty-four east. Okay, where are we? Okay, so we want seventy-two north. Okay, I guess this map is upside down. <laughs> seventy-two. Six three. So we're down here. Okay, maybe that makes sense, I guess. Uh, it's a note there, I guess. A note there that we got. Um, our tent was up here, I guess. Is, is this what's happening? You know, I'm no map reading expert, you know, but, you know, I... It appears to me that we're running in the wrong... It appears to me that we're running in the wrong direction. So, currently we're at the bottom of the map, it appears. So, we need to run back in the other direction. <laughs> um, this compass, let's see. I don't know, is this compass really helping me? Probably not. I can't really read it. What, which way is north and which way is south? Good God, we're gonna die out of here. Good God. Okay. Let's 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 run. Oh. Rip. Well, <laughs> that was. Our preview for Colot here on Xbox Live Network. Appreciate everyone for watching us here live on Twitch, checking out the game. We will be back more for more on Friday, June 9th, when the game officially releases on the Xbox Store. I've played this a little bit longer than I said I would. I was originally said like 15, 20, 25 minutes or so. We want about 40 something minutes of gameplay here. So we'll be back for more here, as I said, on Friday. This game was developed and published by Imagine Pro and will release on the Xbox Store on June 9th for the price of $19.99. Um, we will upload the footage of this live stream here on Twitch to our YouTube channel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to us on YouTube and the video. And if you're watching here live on Twitch, be sure to follow us as we do stream live new and unreleased Xbox One games. Also, be sure to enter our weekly giveaways as we give away many games every single week on our website at giveaways.teamxpln.com. So, be sure to enter that. Join us on Discord, chat with the community. The link to that is in the chat room. And also, once again, be sure to follow our channel and check us out. Again, this has been Days of Legend. Hope you guys enjoy our preview of Colot. See you guys next time.